Renault recently revealed one, one of the sexiest looking electric cars, a little mini electric car. Not little, I mean, it's small, but it's still a practical vehicle. And it's said it might be priced at around $20,000. I reckon, you know, I thought to myself, well, maybe they're making it in China. and That's how they can make it so at such a good price. But Renault said, no, nope, they're not. In fact, it's being made in France. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Renault says their desirable 20,000 EV is coming. And no, it's not made in China. But why are they able to sell it at this price? Well, for one, Renault believe they've got the key to more affordable EV batteries and their new lithium ion phosphate technology will help them slash the cost of production by 40%. Now, interestingly, I think this sounds really good, but someone should maybe give Renault a call and tell them that actually sodium batteries are even cheaper. Anyhow, new desirable EVs with a sub $20,000 price tag that aren't made in China sound great to me. Spanish news site Motor Passion, who says that Renault, like Ford, is embracing lithium ion phosphate batteries. They're cheaper to manufacture, they last longer, and they don't need nickel or cobalt. So it's interesting to see Renault move away from NMC of chemistry batteries, which are nickel, manganese, cobalt batteries, because, well, of all the reasons I just mentioned. And obviously, lithium ion phosphate batteries have continued to actually improve. Now, the new Renault Twingo, which you're seeing here, this is, um, I believe, going to have lithium ion phosphate batteries, and that's going to help Renault to be able to reduce the price. Now, I'm pretty sure Renault's not saying they'll reduce the cost of making their EV by 40% by using lithium ion phosphate batteries, because the battery doesn't account for that much of the cost of the car. It only accounts for maybe 25% of the cost. But what they're really saying is it'll bring the cost of making the battery cells down by 40%, which is a pretty big difference. The pack as a whole wouldn't come down in price by 40%. That would be amazing if it did. But Renault would have to make literally hundreds of thousands of those packs to be able to make that cost come down. It's really just the cells that are going to be about 40% cheaper. That'll bring down the cost of the car by a few thousand dollars. But here's the thing. Since CATL revealed their sodium ion batteries and we discovered the energy density is 175 watt hours per kilogram, higher than that of BYD's Blade battery, and we discovered the fact that these batteries can last for apparently nearly well, around 4 million miles. So probably around five times longer than a lithium ion phosphate battery. And Cato said that these batteries would cost around $20 per kilowatt hour in comparison to lithium ion phosphate at around $55 to $60 per kilowatt hour. Well, you can start to see here that um, lithium ion phosphate batteries are great. But I do think demand for them won't increase in the way that manufacturers think. And the reason is sodium batteries. Regardless of all that, the point is um, automakers outside of China are embracing ways to make cheaper electric cars, bringing the cost of the technology down. You don't see that in internal combustion cars. Nothing really changes with internal combustion cars. Nothing of any meaning. But I think what initially drew me to electric cars many years ago was the pace of change. Things are changing every single week in so many ways, many ways that you probably haven't even heard of. Guys, let me know your thoughts about this. You know, do you see LFP or sodium ion batteries being the battery of the future? Which one do you think will be uh, the most important to the industry in five years' time? I think you know what I think, but what are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. Renault have revealed their new electric car that's going to cost less than 20,000 euros, less than $20,000. It's, uh, it's actually really cool. I like it. To be honest, though, I do like Renault as a brand. But this thing 
it looks good. I mean, Renault, whoever is designing vehicles, now we know who they are, who's been designing vehicles at Renault, the Renault 5, this new Renault Twingo, damn, they've done a phenomenal job. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Miking. Great to have you with us. If you can become a member of the channel and join the channel, that would support me. Help me to convince more of these Muppets who are sold on gasoline and diesel fumes, spreading them all across the air. They love it. We can convert more of those people to EVs. It is possible. I used to be one of those people myself. Believe it or not, I did. I loved internal combustion cars. I just loved these new V6 twin turbos and V8s and everything. And then I realized that uh, they were slow. Noisy vehicles are slow. Now, even family EVs can beat supercars now. In a straight line, of course, but now they're on a track, they're getting better and better too. So we can convert them. If you can support me, that would be great. I'll put a link in the description below to our YouTube member page. Now, the new Renault Twingo. We've seen the outside, now we've seen the inside. It's um, it's definitely not a boring interior, I can tell you that right now. You know what? So many people complain. I'm a bit sick of you guys complaining, not you guys. And I'm not talking to you individually, I'm just meaning people in general. I'm sick of people complaining, oh, that interior is so boring. It's going to bore me to death. I hate it. Oh. So much emotion. So much emotion on the comment forums. It's hard to read them. I love it when people comment things and they think say things that are logical and constructive, not emotional nonsense. And so many times people are saying, oh, I hate that interior. It's so boring. I'd kill myself. I'd kill myself if I had to sit in that car every day. Now, these idiots, if they criticize this thing, if they say this is too boring, then they're just... Just chuck them, chuck them in a lake somewhere. Hang weights off their legs or something. <laughs> I'm a bit over this negativity, guys. Let's be positive. This this interior, is, it's, it's nice, right? It's different. It's unusual. It's quirky. Would I want this in my car? No, nah, I prefer my Xpeng G6 interior, which people say is boring, but I think it's much nicer. Anyhow, for a vehicle costing less than 20,000 euros, Less than $20,000, this thing actually looks sensational on the inside and the out. Price <laughs> is the key context, right? So the new Renault Twingo was unveiled at the auto show on the 10th of January, the new interior. We've seen the exterior, but we hadn't seen the interior. The exterior, in my opinion, is one of the coolest looking hatchbacks, mini cars I've ever seen. I mean, this thing looks absolutely unreal. It has a seven inch digital instrument panel for the driver and a 10 inch central multimedia screen. And it looks like you can move across the car, kind of move it from one side to the other. Interesting. It has a raised hazard warning button. A, um, I'm not a big fan of the hazard warning button, but anyway, it's there. Mm -hmm. 